what is going on everybody welcome back YouTube here we go once again we've got another video for you this time it's a little bit different we've got an unboxing from Mars Hydro they sent me over a newly redesigned FC series light since I just did an FC 6500 series a couple months ago they wanted me to compare this one directly to that one Apparently they've upgraded the blue and red ratio to make it a little bit more commercial friendly and Also, they up the PPFD I'll be testing the par within a couple minutes. We'll see what's going on with that. Anyway, I need to unbox this I'm gonna need both hands. Give me a couple seconds, and I'll be right back And we are back once again with an opened up box this box was originally meant to just be chopped open on the top or bottom and slide the light out just like a big screen TV kinda but instead I cut it open carefully I wanted to show you what came inside the box and how it came inside the box do a true unopening or true unboxing sorry anyway here's the instruction manual looks like pretty much the standard instruction manual they give to every single light yeah, with here is just the general stats for all the lights that they have pretty much. Nothing crazy important right here. Just little stats and whatnot. And then we go on to the next page, which just pretty much shows you how to assemble all their different types of lights. That one would be the FCE that I put together a couple weeks ago. And the other one was a TS model. Anyway, if you put together one of these lights before, you pretty much don't need to read this. It just has the connection junction box. You can put five or more of these lights together, I'm pretty sure, and control them all off of one dimmer. It has the on and off switch. Besides that, you really don't need to read the instruction manual all that much. Here we got the hangers. And the connection piece, which just looks like a little phone jack wire that connects all the boxes if you want to put multiple lights together. Those are the little pins that hold in the driver to the light if you want to mount the driver on the light. Personally, I don't do that. I take the driver, stick it outside of the tent. I don't got to worry about the accumulated heat that way. Much easier to keep it at the temperature where I like it. Got some Moso driver, 600 watts, IP67 I think, yeah, and looks pretty similar to the other FC6500 driver I had. Nothing of a big change too much right there, at least visibly. Okay, huh? Yeah, power cords, more power cords. There's the dimmer box. Zero to a hundred percent. It is pretty accurate, I must say, for the most part. More power cords once again. Enough with this. Let's go throw this light together and show you what it looks like. All right, here we go, fully set up, ready to test. Only thing I wish I had was a spectrometer. That thing's a little too pricey for me right now though. That's probably around $2,500. And the thing that Mars Hydro did change with this light that they told me was the red and the blue spectrum. They changed it to make it a little bit more suitable for commercial style grows. So unfortunately, I won't be able to test that aspect of the light difference compared to the other one. Maybe one day I'll have one of those, just not right now. I do have a PAR meter, an Apogee, pretty much top of the line, so we'll be getting some true results off of that. They did also tell me that the PPFD has been increased, so we will be checking on that. We do got the meter for that test. Personally, I am loving this new style of light that they have. It's way better than that flat panel that they used to do. The good old TS series. Now that they're replacing it with the FC series, you get a way more even distribution of light covering the entire tent. 
and you don't get a big burn spot in the middle where it's just too much for a plant to handle and you might be getting stress or whatnot with this style of light there's almost no stress you can dim it to whatever you want and it's even coverage all the way through all right enough with this let's go get the par test done all right here we go the very first test i did i raised the light up to the highest point possible in the 5x5 mars hydro grow tent the highest point that the ratchets would get them to with the natural hanging equipment that they give you and i can tell you right now they did increase the ppfd on this light it went from about 440 across the board with the old one and this one's around 490 so already right now it does prove to be true what they were saying well, let's go finish up with some more closer test we're going to be doing a 24 an 18 and a 12 inch test let's get her done all right so here we go with one of the common heights that people use for their hanging 24 inch par test let's rattle some numbers off here so I'm going to show you a diagram and I'll place up the numbers what I got personally on my apogee just as I found with the other test that I just did the numbers have increased once again let's move on to the next 18 inch test here we go with the 18 inch par test let's get some numbers up there what i'm seeing from this light is that you could hang it at 18 inches and you're going to get amazing buds across the board that is some good numbers to be making some very good quality buds let's be moving on again to the 12 inch par test all right here we go 12 inch par test it's set up i'm gonna to have to include a few more numbers this time though because it did start to dim down a little bit in the middle just because how the bars are positioned on the light they're a little bit more concentrated to the sides so there we have it that's the par test all done i'm out of here i'm wrapping this one up take her easy everybody i'll see you next time